After that, we are going to use the ECL EMA plugin for the Java code coverage for the Eclipse. So, how to configure in the Eclipse? So, go to your Eclipse and go to your help and go to Eclipse Marketplace. Here you just type ECL EMA and hit enter. So here you can find out the ECL EMA Java code coverage 3.1.2. This is the free Java code coverage tool for the Eclipse available under the Eclipse public license. So you can install this plugin. Bird on a tree. I'm and just, just say confirm. Accept the license and say finish. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. You and me, we meant to be. Yes, install successfully to the Eclipse and how to verify is successfully installed here you can see that code coverage launch uh, mode is there so if you click on this one it will say coverage edge coverage configurations and that means this ECL EMA plugin is successfully installed to the Eclipse now how to export the code coverage in the test coverage how to launch for that you go to your test script code and say right click and here you can see coverage edge and you run test ng test when you run test ng test in the code coverage mode it will generate the coverage report so here you can see that 87.5 points and percentage is done and here you can see this green sing green color that means this code is run successfully and if you expand this one go to src this is my test source file and here you can see your test script java file that means showing the 100 percent coverage and here you can see this is the green color that means this all the statements executed successfully in the test script that's why it's showing the 100 percent and here you can see the coverage instruction is 10 missed is 0 total instruction is 10 but if it comes to the when test java source file these are the source file this is the source file so here you can see the color green ones so the green ones in show that this much code is executed and this much code is left and here you can see this is a symbol this is the branches so what are the branches what are the lines what are the methods i will explain in the next video but here you just try to understand that the green one is means that this much is executed by the eclma and this one is left so this one is showing that code coverage is 81.8 percent is 81.8 percent is and 18 total instructions out of the four instructions left so this is the first instructions this is the second third and this is the fourth so fourth instructions is left it didn't execute now the next point is how to export the code coverage in the test coverage report. Now I want to export this report and then I want to send this report to the reporting person. The code coverage as well as the test coverage report both are generated successfully in the Eclipse ID. Now I want to export this report so that I can send these report to reporting person. So to report export these reports you just right click and say export session and this is the destination folder in the destination folder you select your destination 
path so in my case i'll select the sonar reports and you can give the name of your test report so you can provide your project name test underscore code and test code coverage okay and then say save so here you can see this is the path and after that you just finished and after that you go to that respective folder and you will see this xml report file is generated this xml file is very important we will use this dot xml file in the sonar server here so here it will show the coverage report in the more understanding way so this i will explain in the later video so after that if you want to export in another format then you just select uh, jcoco execution data file so you just say test code coverage this is the name of the file and say finished and you will see that you will get the dot exec jcoco file so we will use these reports for the sonar scanner so that we can show the report on the sonar queue web server because the sonar source analyzer do not run your test and the generate report when you run the sonar scanner it will not generate the coverage report we have to import the pre-generated report okay so we will use these reports in my next video how we can configure the test ng how to install the ecl lima plugin java code coverage how to launch how to launch this ecl lima and how to export code coverage in the test coverage report and how to do analysis on the report and i have also explained this architecture like what is the flow from the source file to the test automations and how to generate the code and the test coverage report in my next video what i'm going to do i'm going to run the sonar scanner and the sonar scanner will scan this java source file and it will show me the bugs and the error present in, the, in this source code as well as it will print the code coverage report also